thousand dollars to the to the city, um, and actually at a lower interest rate than what we were paying. The reason why we needed to do that was because the the bond was um, had to be recategorized uh, to be uh, from from uh, non taxable to taxable. The uh, the other the other option to avoid the recategorization of the bond was to pay down a portion of the bond that met the letter of the IRS tax law of uh, the tax laws, um, but that required an out of pocket out of pocket cost of about four million dollars. So uh, the del deliberation here, and it was it was a, a spirited one, was was to uh, ask first for a bond approval to refinance. The existing bond uh, at a savings of fifty thousand uh, dollars and a reduced interest rate, which was, in my opinion, the responsible way to handle uh, an asset that is appreciates over time, depreciates. Sorry, over time. Um, the other option was to uh, spend out of pocket cash that was sitting uh, that was uh, in in the uh, the parking from the parking utilities surplus. And the choice uh, from the council, and it was a negative choice because uh, there wasn't enough votes to support the bond. There were only five votes, not six. So four, count, four out of nine council members voted against the, what I thought was the responsible choice to refinance the, the garage with a, uh, a, a, um, a, a, a bond at a lower interest rate. Uh, the, the only alternative then, therefore, was to pay down the existing bond to meet the IRS tax law requirements. And that pay down cost, as I said, about $4 million. So when there's a discussion about depleting or, 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 or using up or, or exhausting the parking utilities surplus, yeah, that's exactly what happened. We had $4 million plus available that we could have used for a whole slew of things to improve the community. We could have applied that towards sh shuttle buses. We could have applied that towards improvements on streets. We could have applied that towards concerns about pedestrian safety. Ms. Hirsch asked about pedestrian improvements and access. That's all types of capital improvements that we could have done this year with that surplus money. But now that money is not available. Four council persons decided to vote no on, on the bond request. We had no choice. We had to spend the $4 million out of pocket. And those $4 million, that $4 million in cash is gone now and not able to be used. So to set the record straight, you could use the $4 million to shift it from one uh, from HPU to the, to the city. That's exactly what the 3.5 anticipated surplus is this year. It doesn't have to be 3.5. It could have been 7.5. Or that $4 million could have been, don't say no, Councilman Akapati, because you're wrong. And you don't, know, you don't know the answers. And you're just saying what sounds good. But that's not true. No. What's you're, true no. is that any amount of money can be transferred from the park uh, utility uh, to, to, uh, uh, to the city uh, budget. Uh, let, let Director well, Sachs finish his remarks. Uh, well, 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 let him let him make his remarks, sure. and then you can speak after he's uh, done. But when he's speaking, yeah. we're going to listen to him, and we're going to exercise some decorum, Councilman. I'm sorry, uh, Director. Yeah. Finish your remarks. Whenever you're finished, uh, we'll take comments from the Council. The summary is that we had two options, and, and last year. Because we couldn't, because the, the council and, and, and what the administration was hoping for couldn't achieve the sixth vote necessary in order to accomplish it, the, the parking utility did have to spe spend four million dollars out of pocket, and those four million dollars are lost. Those those that cash money is not able to be used for all types of benefits to the community, and that's 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 the, the end of my statement. Thank you uh, for the clarification.